In the 21st century, a weapon will be invented like no other. The music is really a vehicle for our personality. And when it's at its most exciting is when there's confrontation. It can't be reasoned with. Don't need a confrontation at Coventry went a little bit too far. It can't be bothered with. Armored sex change, I'm proud of it. And this sounds about me. It's just a big load of bollocks. It's just awful. It will feel no pity. Play four pounds and go over the hair so fuck off. Oh. We were only covered here to throw glasses at them. You come on stage and you blast people the way you look, your pink hair stopping from the face. Mm. That's gonna, I mean, how long can you go on doing that? No remorse. I don't know why we attract these sort of really? people. Maybe that they, they resent <laughs> you being up there telling them that you're not intelligent enough to understand what we're doing. We're all glam and you're so stupid you can't understand it. Maybe all they want is real music and they just resent you being up there. Yeah, very possible. It will have only one purpose. And then halfway through, a spate of violence broke out. Ray Mayhew was remanded on unconditional bail. He faces three charges of unlawful and malicious wounding following an alleged incident during a concert at Reading University. Why don't you concentrate on actually making good records instead of making newspaper headlines? All the groups that I really love were groups that did still open. But once you start to deal with that medium, these people kill you. Suicide. No pain and indestructible. Then Martin Dougville taunted the crowd at another gig. <laughs> and it became kind of an all too real version of the ultra violence philosophy that they were espousing in their songs and in their videos. <laughs> What we're talking about is fantasy violence. You're revving it up, everything's going right, okay, you're getting the music on, you're shouting abuse at the audience. Isn't, I mean, aren't you really provoking them into doing something? How about Kiss My Arse? And so when we walked on at Reading, it was just like having caught. Hundreds of bottles and glasses were bouncing off the stage. <laughs> Do you look to generate violence around you? Do you look to generate public scene? <laughs> That's the idea. And then That's going to be do? the ultimate rock and roll swindle. No life is all fucking lumpy. I feel like it. Are you with? I'm not glorifying or inciting senseless violence, you know. People, you know, just want to go wild, you know, they want to come to the gig, right, you know, because it's like, yeah, it's like Zig Zig's it, and they're going to rule the world, right, and we say, you rule the world with us. Get ready for the next world. But all your concerts seem to do is provoke a lot of real violence. That's not what you want, is it? Well, the trouble is one often overestimates the intelligence of one's audience. He's here in the studio, he looks alright, doesn't he? Yeah. Give him the look, right? Do the look. Well behaved. Do the, <laughs> do the front cover look, that's the one, see? I heard some people think that your music is sort of violent. <laughs> no, oh, no. no. Right, we've got a very serious problem here. We've got to rush Martin to hospital because it's an idiot who's going to throw a pillow with the pitting. It requires stitches. So the group will not be coming back on. I just hope that the idiot that threw that coin is satisfied.